Hey guys, welcome to another part of Hot Wheels Turbo Racing. This time we're looking at some of the cars that we have because we can actually look at their stats. They have stats. You have to actually go into them though. Hot Wheels car! We have the Hot Wheels car, which tells you when it was casted and what it has, even though, you know, it's not really that good. That's a Gold Stepper. Gold Stepper! I mean, you know, it's, it's alright. A lot of descriptions are kind of shit though. Their ability is very good, top speed's good too, but stunts suck. Uh, this one's pretty decent. Evil Weevil. Their ability is not that great, but everything else is pretty even and nice, so... It's alright. Double Vision? Eh. Double Vision. That's what we were using, and it's their ability. Yeah, it sucked. So, very easy to destroy, but everything else was decent. Diora? Diora. I love how he says he's fucking cars. That's the best part so far for me. Uh, and catapult? Catapult. All right. Uh, uh, durability not that great. Who cares? Way too fast. Way too fast. He really puts a lot of emphasis on that. Uh, stunts. Uh, rest is okay. A lot of mystery cars. Sweet sixteen two. Sweet sixteen two. Yeah, it looks all right. Nothing too bad. Street Rotter. Street Rotter. Alright. Uh, yeah. Pretty decent stats. Stealth? Stealth. Very nice. Very calm. Stealth. Best car so far. I'll be using that probably. Splitting Image 2. Again, so much emphasis on saying this shit. I like it. That looks alright. Speed Blaster. Speed Blaster. <laughs> Fucking hell. The control, it's very nice, but everything else, eh. Snake. It took a while to say snake. Uh, it's alright. Nothing too great. Shadow Jet? Shadow Jet. Night Flight, okay. Well, it's, it's okay. Nothing too special. Red Baron? Red Baron! It takes a while for some of these cars. That's one from the intro, too. Rash 1. Rash 1. I don't want to interrupt this guy. And, uh, yeah, he, he's alright. Purple Passion. Purple Passion! Alright. I think I remember having that car, actually. He's got good stats. Power Pistons. Power Pistons! Okay, I think I remember having that car too. Okay. Power pipes. Power pipes. Don't remember having that car, but its stats are pretty okay. Mongoose. Mongoose. And that's about it, really. There, there definitely seems to be some cars here from. Like, I used to have these sort of cars, these sort of Hot Wheels cars before. But, uh. I'll go on to that later on, I guess. Right now, I want to use Stealth, because it's got the best stats so far. So, you might have noticed that it was hard, and it wants us to, you know, stun him. We can also crash him if we want, but there's no point, because crashing him in this game is just pointless, and stunning him is just, you know, getting the turbo. So, speed them. Always speed them. Always turbo. Nice camera work. Three, two, one, go! No special boost for when you do like a special way of starting it or anything. It's just, you know, everyone else is equal. Also, great spin, somehow that counted. I got three turbo for that one, even though I... And I got two turbo... What... What constitutes as... Whatever. Oh. Oh, that's very nice. Yes. Put that right fucking there. Get me stuck on a wall. Oh, that's very nice. Explosions. Thank God I got more durability of this car, otherwise that would have been a one-hit kill, I bet. What the fuck just happened there? 
I swear to God, the physics engine in this game is just... I don't think it should really exist here, considering it just puts me fucking anywhere. Like, in a millisecond. It's just stupid. What the fuck is this tunnel? Why can't I just sit to the tunnel? Why am I fucking flying around like that? That is not how tunnels work in video games, when you're doing a driving game. It's supposed to be stick- you're supposed to be stuck to that fucking wall the entire time. You should not be, like, flying in the middle around like an idiot. Makes no fucking sense. One somersault? How? Oh, so I was hoping against a fucking wall, you gave me only one somersault. You didn't want to give me the whole three. And now I exploded. Also, that guy is... Pretty sure I'm overtaking him. Pretty sure it's an overtake right now. He's pretty much from the last fucking lap. Don't know. Also, oh, that's... That, no, he was actually second. And now he is everywhere. And I've exploded somehow. Four by four. What the fuck is some of these weapons? What does four by four do? How do I use four by four? What the fuck is the blue thing? How do I use it? What's its purpose? Does it have an advantage? Does it do anything? Some of these weapons, I have no fucking clue what they do. They're just there. They're, like, there are a few that I get, like the blue crystal. I've been noticing that gives me one extra boost. Neat. But a lot of this shit, I don't have a fucking clue. What is this? A gear? A clock? What the fuck is it? I don't know what it is. I don't know what its purpose is. I don't know how to use it or what it fucking is that will help me out here. I don't know what the blue thing is. I don't even know where to begin with the, the fucking pink balls. I don't even fucking have a clue. That gives me an extra turbo. That's all I get from that. Like, maybe there's a use for it. But the fucking suns are enough. Uh, the 4x4, no idea. I understand what it means. It's a 4x4. It's a plank of fucking wood. But what the fuck does it do and how do I use it? I don't know. I don't get a plank of wood. Is it extra armor or something like that? I don't know. I really don't. I don't know how I'm going to be able to test it, considering there are literally no weapons or rockets or anything like that in this fucking game. I have to let a motherfucker hit me with a hammer or some shit like that in order to actually see if it actually is extra armor. And if it is, what, what the fuck's the point of it? Where's the use? That's the thing. It's no use. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, finish this race because, quite honestly, I'm already overlapping everybody right now. Like, everyone's right fucking behind me, I'm betting. No mini map. I can't tell where they are. I can tell where I am. But then? Nah. They're just. You don't have to worry about them. Jesus fucking Christ, everywhere on that little spot there is a death sentence, really. Either you're gonna hit the box that's being pushed around, or you're gonna hit the fucking roof part at the very other side. There's no... There's no way you can really, like, get away from that. It's stupid. Yeah, as you can see, this tunnel here is just terrible, too. Look, look at this. Look at this! That is not how you do tunnels in video games. When you're doing a racing game, that is not how you do a fucking tunnel. You don't have, like, no stick on it, and you just fucking go all over the place and go sideways on the walls. That doesn't make any fucking sense. The design of these levels aren't really that good either. I mean, so far, you've seen only the first track, and that wasn't very good. Now you've seen the second track, which is on a hard difficulty, by the way. You have noticed it. That was hard. This is a hard track. We went, we went from an easy track to a hard one. No middle ground. We're just going straight into it. Maybe the next one's going to be like a medium track. Who knows? I don't really remember if I actually told you guys about it yet but 
let's just see. Let's just see if we're going to get a medium track. Let's see if we're actually going to get another easy track. Or if we're going to get another hard track. Who knows? A, tra a difference in difficulty might be nice. Also, this is a ramp too. And uh, as you can see, very nice ramp. Magma Air. Some of these names make, some of these names make no fucking sense. I don't get it. And I'm doing a spin now. Which, by the way, the spins. I know you can do both flips and spins, and they will give you a lot more turbo. But here's the thing. Why? If someone's able to give you, like, two at least, and you can do more than one front flip and get a lot more score out of that, a lot more turbo out of that, then what the fuck's the point of spinning? To avoid getting on your back? I mean, yeah, but if you spin, you're not going to be able to hit the middle correctly, you're going to lose speed, and you're probably going to go sideways. Or backwards, even. You're probably not going to land right on a spin. A fucking flip, though, you'll be fine. You'll be on your back, but you'll be fine. You can still, like, turn yourself again and continue on. Spin's harder, though. Oh, by the way... I can't land on that. I don't know how you're supposed to land on that, but I don't really want to. I noticed there's stuff there, like a triangle. I don't know what that is. Maybe an obstacle. And there's another thing there. I don't know what that is. I don't give a shit. I've won. I've been Snake by like 30 seconds almost. So yeah, this is on an easy. These CPU, by the way, are easy. They're not medium. They're not hard. They're easy. Have you noticed how, like, they're still a minute behind, but they're still keeping up, in a way. Because here's the thing, if the cars aren't the thing fucking with me, it's the tracks. And so far, these tracks have been fucking terrible. So, now it's time for skill, I guess. Find the hidden tracks. Okay, if I win the cup, I get more tracks. That's nice. But, uh... Yeah, you might have noticed the, uh... The track itself in the map there. These little maps... Don't, they don't really tell you a lot about what's really gonna be there. They kind of... They're pretty bad. And they don't really give you anything and information. And not only that, but this is also a hard track, so that's great. And I can notice there's like a freaking wooden fence there. Oh, but we got the hammer. This is what the hammer does. Yeah. That's the hammer. That, I can understand. And that, I've been able to find a use for. The hammer is an instant kill. It will kill anybody. It, like, even if they touch you slightly, they explode. It's fucking great. I don't get the hammer much, but when I do, it's a fucking great weapon, and it's useful, and I understand how to use it and how it works, but that's like two power-ups out of, what, fucking 12 so far? Like, there's not much, also the wheels, I can't, I can't really boost, so, there we go. And trying to spin again. You see, the spins aren't really that good. Because if you don't land perfectly back on the front, like forward, then you're gonna just lose your shit, really. It's not that great. And I'm out of turbos, so now that noise keeps being made. I mean, understandable. Okay, I. Is the blue thing supposed to give me additional turbo for every stunt I do? Is that what I'm supposed to get out of that? I don't know. Maybe? I am unsure about any of these fucking weapons. The hammer? I got it. It's an instant kill. The blue thing. I don't know what the blue thing is, but it gives me a turbo, so there's that. But what the fuck does anything else do? I don't know. It never makes it clear. The game 
never makes it clear what anything else does. I've been noticing a red power-up. Is that a really special power-up? Really destructive power-up? What the fuck is it? What does it do? Well, the problem is, I've been trying to get that, and I failed all these laps. Every lap, I failed to get that fucking thing. And what about the tornado over there? Does that do anything? Does that affect me? I don't know. I don't want to try because I don't want to fucking explode. Oh no, it's just a, a prop thing. It doesn't do anything. Or if it kills me instantly. I don't know. I don't, want, I don't really want to try because I want to focus on, you know, winning. And if it means that I have to fucking, you know, avoid checking shit out, then I'm gonna avoid checking shit out, and I'm gonna try to make these cups, because we need to see more of the game, and, you know, we have to get first place in every cup in order to actually, you know, have a chance to see everything, you know, get everything in the fucking thing. You know, be done with the fucking game, too. Also, we found the jail. It's just a, it's just a sign that says jail, nothing else. I didn't notice anything else. It's just jail. Great jail. I could have gotten that, by the way, but I missed it, because I'm trying to turn. And that's the thing, too, like, the turning. Either the turn works, or it doesn't. Either the turn, I can actually make it through with the turn, or it's so shit that I can't. And by the way, I'm trying to get in this little obvious secret area, because... Why wouldn't I try to do this? But here's the thing. I actually get inside of there and it explodes me. I'm being serious. Watch, look, you keep seeing that I keep being censored every time I hit this fucking thing. But then I go right and just just watch this. I go directly in. I'm gonna go directly in right fucking now. Here we go. Still explode. Why? Why the fuck would you do that? Why would you give me a secret passage that I can go through if you're not gonna let me fucking go through it? If you're gonna penalize me for even attempting? Like, what the fuck, game? What do you want from me? You give me a choice to go to a secret little entrance, a secret path on the side, it's obvious, that wall was breakable. There is obviously a fucking path there. But you're like, no, fuck you, you're not going in. We're gonna explode you, even if you make it in. What the fuck? And of course, hit detection on those wheels, 10 out of 10. I didn't touch that once, and I exploded. Okay. Okay, I, I guess I hit the fucking box. I guess I hit the invisible fucking corner. And there's the last car that was in front, but now he isn't because I exploded him for fucking hammer. Which, by the way, still, right now, the hammer is the only thing that I understand. Turbo? I don't know what the fuck the extra turbo thing is. It's like a blue crystal thing. I don't know what the fuck it is. What the hammer? I know what it looks like. And I know what it does. So I understand the t fucking hammer. I understand the sledgehammer. I don't understand anything else. And there we go. I won the race. And that is actually going to be it for this part. Because next part, we're going to be ending this cup. We'll be doing free races. Why? Why am I going to be doing it like one, two, three? Because I am. Because last part fucking showed like the stupidity of the difficulty thing and all. And this part, this part, I just want to, like, get the other race out of the way that should have been the last part. As well as show off the cars and show off how bad these tracks are. Next part, though, I'm showing the rest of this cup. And we're going to beat it. We're going to get first. I'm also going to show more of how bad the tracks are. Because, again, if it ain't the cars, it's the tracks. That fuck me over. And trust me, the design of these tracks has been pretty fucking poor. Worse than fucking Extreme Racing, by the way. 
Because I've been noticing I'm hitting more walls than usual, and yeah, that's pretty bad. But yeah, more hard. Great. Next time, we're going to be going through the rest of this cup and we're going to win. And we're going to see how many more tracks we have to deal with, how much bullshit there is in it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.